watching NASCAR on NBC. NBC Sports is live from the Daytona International Speedway tonight for the running of the Coke Zero Sugar 400 at Daytona. Last time out at Sonoma, we had a neck and neck battle between Dylan Irway and Ryan Newman, with Dylan Irway edging Ryan Newman at the last lap at Sonoma for the last lap pass. Last time out when we were at Daytona, it was a photo finish between Dylan Merway and Ryan Priest, with Priest getting the upper hand. Dylan Merway has a reputation of being a good pusher. We'll see how that turns out for him tonight. Qualifying was, however, qualifying was rained out Thursday night. Uh, Dylan Merway will, will start 37th. First few men as NBC and Turner Sports will take you from tonight's race at Daytona all the way to championship weekend in Phoenix. Let's go to the stories of the race. Ty Dillon was credited with the pole. Uh, Alex Bowen got into a crash. Daniel Suarez gave up his qualifying position. And Kyle Busch will fail pre-race tech. Bill Murway's strategy tonight is to work with whoever's in front of him, which in the abbreviated session Friday afternoon was Kevin Harvick. Him and Kevin were reportedly worked really well together as we're underway here at Daytona. Quinn Halp already making contact with Dylan Merway. Going to turn one. They get out of it. Dylan Merway is trying to get Harvick to go. Go with him. Just so he can get to the front. Harvick was, uh, when qualifying was rained out and moved to fr early Friday morning, Harvick got a terrible draw. As Bowen almost spins Dylan coming out of turn four. Ty Dillon leads the first lap. Looks like uh, Ryan Newman's there on the top side. Dillon is stuck on the four of Kevin Harvick. And it looks like Alex Bowman's going to follow him as well. So they're three wide for him. Harvick has no momentum, no good, really good place to go. Got Chastain in front of him. Almost like he doesn't want to go. Uh, Stenhouse continues to drop back. Seems like the inside line is the place to be. Come on. Up, up, up. Clear. Good. Good. If A8 down low, A8 down low. Get away from him. Clear, Keselowski with a huge shot. Huge shot, Keselowski, huge shot. All right, you're good. You should stay there. He wants to go, but he really, that was a really big moment there between both Harvick and Murway and Reddick. Both of them nearly wrecked. In fact, Reddick got really squirrely. Keselowski gives Dylan a shot. And that just gave him multiple positions. Went from 30th to 26th, and he's about to get two more here. By teaming up with the 12 of Ryan Blaney. Had a little four-car train on the bottom, led by Darrell Wallace and the 48 of Jimmy Johnson. God damn, get down, Blaney. Down. I want to be down. Meanwhile, up front, Ryan Newman. Ran strong here at the Daytona 500. And this is also, he does have success here. Uh, back in 2008, Ryan Newman won the Daytona 500. Was on his way to a second Daytona 500 back in 2020. 
when a horrible crash occurred just feet from the start finish line when Nunez was turned into the wall, upside, flipped upside down, and then got hit by Corey LaJoy and walked away two years later like the absolute unit that he is. And he's leaning out front of his truck at the, at the side of the accident that honestly should have hurt him really bad or worse. So that's why he's really thankful for all the safety innovations that have been made in the past 20 years since the death of Dale over in turn four at Daytona. And that's what it kept Ryan Newman alive, kept him safe, and is the reason that he is out front right now at Daytona. Dylan Murray is trying to work with Christopher Bell. Bell tucks in behind the 78. Meanwhile, up front, Eric Amarola is locked on to the 10 of Ryan, to the 6 car of Ryan Newman. Chase Elliott and Corey LaJoy are on the bottom. Big moments. They're off two. Bell saves it. Dylan hit the wall, got into Busher. They get out of it. And here comes Justin Haley back to give him help in the 16 car. William Byron, the Michigan winner. A few weeks ago, working with the 42, we have reached the five to go mark here in stage one. Hamlin going to the high side, backing up the 42 of Kenseth. Dylan Murray trying to shove the 38 of John Hunter. Meanwhile, out front, it is Eric Amarola and Ryan Newman. That has remained unchanged. A little bit of contact there. Big moment there. So far, everything seems to have settled down after the wildness and the drama of the first few laps. We have reached four to go in stage one. Dylan drops down past McDowell, McLeod, and is tucked up behind the 34 McDowell. So we got 10 cars up front in the lead group. McLeod's trying to follow the five and end up trying to shake McDowell. And the caution has come out here in stage one. So we credit with the stage win. Eric Amarola, Chase Elliott, Corey LaJoy, Ryan Priest, Joey Logano, Austin Dillon, Michael McDowell, Dylan Burway, and BJ McLeod will round out the top 10. Caution. The reason the yellow was cut out, I believe, was for Clint Boyer. Might have uh, had a right front issue and a new wall. He should be good there. Field has been re-wrapped, except for the restart. Clint Boyer is retired from the race. We're back racing. Terrible start on the inside for the five of Dylan Merwin. My goodness. Did not get going at all. Immediately comes to the high side to try to pick up William Byron. Now he's going to get shafted by the 38 of John Hunter Nemechek. Bring Ryan Priest and the 20 of Jones with him. And everybody as well. One thing about these restricted play tracks, it does not matter who goes with who or what the fastest group is. The fastest way is the line that sometimes has the most cars. And in that situation, Dylan Roy wasn't up to speed even though he had the 24 behind him. That line wasn't up to speed on the start. Now here's Dylan Merway getting past three cars with a huge slingshot. Now he's going to hook up behind the 95 Christopher Bell. Let's go, Bell. Come on. 
Brian Newman still out front at Daytona. He's got Chase Elliott pushing him at a very disorganized top lane. Looks like Bell wanted to move by himself. A little bit of tight moment there between the 95 and the 78. Amarola's up there. He's got nobody on his bumper yet. He's sidecrafted the six really well. Eric Amarola out, out front here at Daytona. Now, can he get down? Bell with a nice save. Now it's like the inside lane was dis was organized for a moment. Now it's back to being disorganized. Dylan Merway is now hooked on to pole sitter Ty Dillon. So you got Eric Amarola by himself. Corey LaJoy looks like he's going to the back of the line. Ryan Newman is hooked up with the nine of Chase Elliott. And there he goes. And a crash. Turn one. Ty Dillon came up in front of the field. And it looks like McLeod might have been the only victim. So caution flag will wave for the second time time tonight. First one not for a stage end. There's uh, Ty Dillon who got sent into the path of McLeod. Like no further damage, everybody was able to woe it down. Green flag is back into the air. Ryan Newman and Chase Elliott have hooked up. Dylan Merway is going to try to take Chase Elliott to the front, get him some more playoff points. We talked about it in the countdown of green tonight, the struggles of the 19 this season. They were strong at the out at Talladega last time. Looks like Dolan's going to try to push the nine to the point. Newman way to the high side. Move Chase Elliott to the lead here at Daytona. Oh yeah, that roar that you're hearing is the sound of nearly 200,000 fans standing and cheering almost like a certain somebody took the lead somebody who uh, saw the air if you will all right outside you have the five blocking like hell for you just stay out front and ride you got uh, chevrolet and three fourths stay out and ride just stay up top stay up top all right, come down, come down. Block it for you, Chase. I'm blocking for you. Just keep putting down laps. Oh, and watch around outside six. Outside six. Outside six. Oh, now it's a huge run on the high side. Elliot's by himself. We got out of the high. Now get shafted, new and back to the point. This is going to get a little wild. They're fixing a wreck here in this group. And uh, with the way Hamlin was pushing, that should have been a wreck. Oh, Newman. What a save by the six. My goodness. So far, it's total of seven cars in one group and the way they're racing that should have been a big wreck yeah chase Elliott pushed back out front dylan merway and joey logano are the top three followed by ryan newman and the 10 of eric amarola then you got corey lajoy and benny hamlin further back Of 
four to go. That issue is Chase can't get too far, otherwise they'll gang up and get another run. Dak has got two very aggressive pushers and Joey Logano and Dylan Merway behind him. Could they could link up and get right by him, or Logano can just spin the five. We all know Logano does get aggressive sometimes. And that's what the type of stuff you have to do. Especially if you got two guys working together out front controlling the track, the pack, like Dylan Merway and Chase Elliott are so far. And that's exactly who Chase needs to see is that lead and silver five. Make it nice and wide. And you don't have to tell Dylan twice because he is. I think Logano might be getting a little frustrated here. He's giving him several shots. Two to go. There's Dylan. He's pushing Chase out front. So far, it is the pack. Because he separated of seven is now separated into two groups of three and four. You got Hamlin leading the group on the hot the outside, Elliot leading on the inside. Ryan Newman, who dominated the majority of stage one, is slid to fifth behind the six of Newman. As they come to the white flag here in stage two, Chase Elliott currently leading with Dylan Roway right on his back bumper. They are pushing, they were pushing over 200 miles an hour in turn one. That, that is nuts. In fact, with how far they're going, they pulled away two cars by themselves can actually be faster than the car behind. That means Joy Logano is strung by himself. Chase Elliott and Dylan Merway for three and four. They've worked together pretty well in Talladega, pretty well here tonight. And Chase Elliott will win stage two. Dylan Merway, Joey Logano, Denny Hamlin, Corey LaJoy, Ryan Newman, Eric Amarola, Ty Dillon, Ryan Priest, and Matt Kenseth go around out in the top 10. Clint Boyer did retire from the race after that. It's stage one yellow, so this is the third caution flag of the night. which means after this, we're going to have 16 laps to the finish in this final stage. Chase Elliott and Dylan Merway getting ready to lead him down. Green flag. Just what Dylan needed, Chase Elliott needed. He needed to get that red five behind him. But the only problem is Logano did not get a good start at all. That allowed Ryan Newman to close up on the high side. It looks like Hamlin thought about coming down, but Logano battled back with a push from the 10. And now Newman's trapped on the high side by himself. Three wide for the back. Merway trying to block there. Elliott to the high side. Now it's side by side. They're starting to break away from the group. Logano on the bottom. Hamlin up top. And I think with the laps ticking down, patience drains that, runs out. Pulse rate starts ticking up, especially if you're a guy like Dylan Merway, who's almost like he's playing defense for the nine. Go 
those two work together really well at Talladega. I can look for those two to look be strong tonight. The gun I'm trying to get on the inside. I'm going to contact there. Elliot comes down to block Logano. Dylan's on the high side by himself. And here comes Hamlin. Oh, big, big moment there. Hamlin almost sends Dylan into Newman. Logano to the point. Dylan comes back with a huge head of steam, and there goes Denny. New minute out of control. Caution waves. Oh boy. Time to go here in the Coke Zero Sugar 400. Green flag is out. Great jump for Logano this time around. Virtually no help on the inside lane. A lot of damage to both Newman and Hamlin. Five cars were able to get away, though, heading towards turn one. It looks like we got some more Chevrolet help in the form of Matt Kenseth and Austin Dillon. Kenseth and Dillon looking down low. Six cars in the group. Elliott back to the point. Kenseth gets into the 10. That's the three car of Austin Dillon. Look out. In front of the field. Another wreck. We were just talking about the history of the three when Austin Dillon crashes in the trioval. I do believe things ought to get a little dicey. Hey, Kurt Busch with a quiet drive tonight. He started towards the middle of the field, along with the 12 of Ryan Blaney. Anyways, four to go at the line. Who can get to each other quicker? He's got Logano and Kenseth on the high side. They won't work. They don't work very well together. Those two have a big history. Elliot gets a great push, but did he get pushed too far? Looks like it seemed to work. Dylan's trying to side graph the 42. Here comes the 10 of Almarola. Trying to give him some help. Four laps of racing to go. And that's who Dylan, who Elliot needs to see is that five car. Three laps to go at the line. Elliot to the high side. Elliot has had a rough season so far. Close these ran to a win with Talladega earlier this year. Everybody expected him to win at Sonoma, but terrible weekend for the nine team. And Dylan is just locked on to the nine of Chase Elliott. tell you that you what that is who chase needs to see right there it's just that silver bumper in his mirror two to go for chase elliott and the advantage of the two car tandem look at the gap it is put on joey logano and the rest of the field now if logano and Almarola could hook up we may have ourselves a great race Watch behind you. Just look ahead. He's been playing defense for you all night, but Elliot does have 
a win at a restrictor plate race. He won the Talladega event in the spring of 2019. He's well on his way to his second one at the World Center of Racing. White flag is out at Daytona. And it looks like Amarola and Logano could hook up, but the question is, do they have enough time to run down the nine and the five? And if I'm Dylan, I would wait till the front stretch to make my move. Unless Elliot tries to leave the bottom or something. So we're three and four. Got one in the wall in the back. Never mind. Still green. Chase Elliott to the bottom. We're way to the top. Elliott wins at Daytona. And I would give a huge shout out to that five team because they pushed the crap out of him all night. Chase Elliott turned on and went off tonight with a dominating second stage and he's automatically in the playoffs joining his teammate William Byron out of Hendrick Motorsports. Chase Elliott wins tonight. Daytona. Dylan Merway ends up second. Eric Amarola third. Joey Logano fourth. Matt Kenseth fifth. Uh, Christopher Bell ends up sixth. Austin Dillon seventh. Eric Jones eighth. Ryan Newman ninth. And Ryan Priest will round out the top ten. The Daytona 500 winner. Coming through the rest of the field. Kyle Busch starting towards the back of the field. Ended up 12th tonight. Ryan Blaney. Kurt Busch. Solid runs. Hamlin and LaJoy were in a late race crash. Ends up both of them end up in the top 20. Yeah, there went Newman. I thought Newman was about to go over right there. Uh, Bowman, 18th. So here's Dylan. He ends up under the wall. Let's see what happened after. Wow. Dylan was flipping. Austin Dillon came back from a hard crash with the 49 of Minshew to end up in the top 10. So Jimmy Johnson, Martin Truex, the top 20. Uh, Justin Haley, 22nd. So there were supposedly two incidents on the last lap. Um, reportedly, they those cars did come around towards the back. Uh, William Byron was spun on the white flag. That didn't cause a yellow, reportedly. And then the incident in turn three. There was a crash involving Tyler Reddick, Daryl Wallace, and Kevin Harvick. All drivers have been checked and released. Harvin did limp it back to Pit Road to finish tonight. Which is good to see. So there's the results for tonight. You can add Chase Elliott's name to the list of playoff drivers. The top 16 without it with a win, so that makes Joey Logano seems to be the model of consistency this year. He's the first highest driver in the top 16 without a win. Now if we can take a look at how the playoff standings will work here, we'll figure that out shortly. Driver 
drivers of tonight's race, Dylan Burway laid the fastest lap. Chase Elliott basically led the entire second half of the race. Dylan Burway went from 37th to 2nd. And John Hunter Nemechek started 6th tonight, got caught up in the dust up, and ended up 37th. He was part of the first last lap incident. So, next time out, we'll be at Kentucky Speedway. The, it'll be exclusively on NASCAR on TNT. Uh, Friday night at... Eastern, the birth is at MyrtleBeach.com 300, and then Saturday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, we'll have the Quaker State 400 from Kentucky. So, uh, congratulations to the Chase and Elliott team, celebration of America's independence, based on the 4th of July on a beautiful summer night. Got in some good racing. Chase Elliott dominated the entire night. We will see you next Saturday from Kentucky.